What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to FBA Capital. And today I'm bringing you guys another weekly market breakdown on none other than NAS 100. And as we always do, we're going to start off on the higher time frame. So we're going to start on the weekly time frame. As you can see, the past three weeks have been overall bearish, and we're coming into this area that we've had a lot of consolidation in. But one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is where we are in price. We're approaching that 12,000 level right here. Let me get the exact. We're approaching 12,000. And we also have this area right in here. All of this right here. We had this gap that was formed before. And right before this major up move right here, we have this down candle. Which is going to be our weekly order block that price is going to potentially have a reaction off of as it already is. And keep that in mind. We're also having that reaction with that 12,000 level. Next thing we're also going to be looking at is overall price had the break of structure to the top side. So from here, break of structure. Now we're retracing to potentially go higher. That is what I personally think is happening. Could price continue to go lower? Definitely could. It could run all the way down here, maybe go for 11, the 11,000, which is all the way below this low, all the way down here. Is that likely? I wouldn't say it's high probability, but it's definitely possible. Anything is possible. Always keep that in mind. But in my opinion, I think we're more likely to continue to this top side as of right now, based off of this analysis. And if you also want to take it a step further and pull a fib from this down move, I'm going to use this up candle, not this down candle, to the high up here. And you also see that we're in this area of discount to potentially go higher. So now we're going to go down to the daily. As you can see, price is already having a reaction in this area. We had one candle that overall had a big wick. We came down and cleared the lows to our left right here, cleared those lows. So after we cleared those lows and tapped into, we didn't really tap into 12,000, but we came very close. We tapped into it, cleared these lows, and we're in this area of discount. And we're also in this area of interest based off the higher time frame order block that we have here. So there's a lot of reason for me to believe that price is going to try to have a push to the top side. Will it happen this week? No saying. But overall, I want to see price make a run for this major high up here. And one thing I also forgot to do, we're going to mark up the weekly highs and weekly lows. Almost forgot to do that. We got the weekly low. And right up here is going to be our weekly high. Get rid of that. And we got the weekly high. Go back to that daily time frame. I ideally want to see price make a run for this weekly high if we are going to have a bullish week. So ideally, maybe 12800 that would be a pretty good target, best case scenario. But ideal case scenario, I say at least 12600 That is what I ideally want to see get targeted if we are going to have a bullish week. Because if we are going to be bullish, we're more than likely going to try to engulf all these candles. But for all I know, we could end up consolidating here for maybe another week before potentially going higher. You never know. This candle could just be one daily candle out of five of this consolidation. So you never really know. But as of right now, I do think we might get a push. When we might get it, who knows? But that is based off of what I'm my higher time frame. So that's what I think. So now we're going to go down to our intraday basis. And we're going to mark up the previous day's highs and previous day's lows from the Friday, which was September 2nd. And I'm going to get this previous day's high and get the previous day's low. And now we're going to align our higher time frame analysis with our intraday analysis. So we have the previous day's low right here, the midnight open, and now I'm going to get the previous Asian session also from the day before, which is going to be that Thursday. Why? Because the Friday that the market closed, it closes before the Asian session starts. So Friday never has the Asian session. So this is what we're looking at. If we're looking at it based off of just pulling fibs from the previous day's high, previous day's low, looking for areas of discount in the same trend of the previous day, this is something you would ideally want to look for. Something like this similar to look for price to maybe get a retracement. And even if it doesn't come this high, we're going to get our other area also, our 
38.20% on the FIB, which is going to be right here. So you can kind of get an idea on where these levels align up with price-wise. But also look around where the Asian session consolidation is. So we have a lot of consolidation and a lot of confluence within this area. We have that 12 a.m. open from that previous day. We have the Asian session range from that Thursday. We also have a discount area from pulling a fit from the previous day's highs and the previous day's lows. And if you also look at where we are trend-wise, everything was bearish. We had this break of structure. Right here, we had this break of structure. So we could potentially look for price to come back in to fill some sorts of gaps, potentially come lower. That is something you can look at based off the intraday basis. Now we're going to go back to the higher time frame. Why are we looking for longs based off higher time frame? So now we got to look at how could we potentially look to go long. Look at this to the left. As of right now, this low never got ran through. Even though we really had a bearish day on the Friday, we still never ran through this low. So what I think could potentially happen is price could potentially fall lower, clear this low before maybe having that reversal to potentially push price higher. Because like I said, we are bullish, higher time frame. Anything can happen intraday. We can consolidate. But based off higher time frame, I want to see long term within this week or the next few weeks, price push higher. So this is what could potentially we look for tomorrow. But I'm not going to trade tomorrow since it's going to be Memorial Day and it's a holiday. So that's something you also got to keep in mind. But this is basically all I have. For you guys as of right now what i personally expect there's not nothing crazy to it it's about just waiting because there's only so much i could anticipate or have a hypothesis for but at the end of the day you just gotta take it day by day you gotta let the market show you what it's likely going to do i gotta wait for this whole sunday to close because i don't trade sundays either i wait for the market to give me the best likelihood of having a winning trade and when you trade holidays and you trade days that aren't fully open like a sunday it's just less probability of having a winning trade. So with that being said, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you share this video with a friend. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay productive and let's have a good week.